first day and we already found cops. <laughs> What's up crew, what's up machine freaks? I hope everybody's feeling super duper froggy fresh today on this fine day. I feel a little extra froggy fresh than usual. And that's, that's very surprising because it's extremely chilly outside and the weather's not that nice and you know, nothing's different. But the only thing that has changed is the opportunity. and today is the freaking day. I know I've been looking forward to it and I know a lot of you guys have been looking forward to it. I read the comments. Saying that, I'm on my way to the DMV right now to register my sled for the first time ever, my new Skidoo 800. I joined a club which saves me money and not only does it benefit me by saving me money, but it, but it also funds them with some money so it's a win-win. That's when you know it's a good deal. And I also have to make a few stops. I need to get gas sometime today. change my chain case oil again because I got my drain plug as you guys saw when I went with Kyle D and Ian to the shop. So before I lose like the stripped out one because it's not in there very tight, I'm just going to remove that, drain the brand new stuff even though I have like 300 feet on it, put the new drain plug in there so you won't have any problems, the plug won't fall out, and then just rip it. I made it to the DMV. I think if you were to rate like my entire experience at the DMV, like 100%, I think I've only walked out of here 10% of the time without having to come back a second time. I just left the DMV, my success rate went up. I don't have to go back there for a second time, which is really, really good. Because like I said, 10% of the time I've ever got out of there with only going in there one time. Usually I have to go home, get something else that I forgot or that they didn't mention to bring over the phone because usually I called them. But anyways, paid a bunch of money to register it. The sales tax on the price. New York State, you guys are awesome. Very rich. I just left Harbor Freight. I picked up some welding rod, like plastic welding rod, so that I can actually like plastic weld with some filler. And I also picked up fuel for the Skidoo. You know, sports are never cheap. No matter what sport you're into, baseball, basketball, hockey, snowmobiling, dirt biking, like all those sports, they're expensive. In your guys' opinion, what sport costs the absolute most? I know when it comes to like actual like physical sports, old school sports like baseball, basketball, hockey, I think hockey's up there because of all the equipment. But then when it comes to like power sports, I'm not quite sure. It depends what kind of fleet you got, I guess. Leave in the comment section below if you think you know or or just what your opinion is on what's the most expensive sport. Let me just tell you, snowmobiling isn't cheap. I like to love you. He's the only one who's got to ride it this year. She's a stinky two-stroke. What's the plan? Throw in here? Yeah. Dude, where's the cover go? It just blew up. Now I have no idea what the plan is. I didn't even know Kyle was gonna go grab my sled. But whatever, he's storing it. Let him do what he's gotta do. As long as he's not destroying it, right? Uh, there is a piece missing though. It must have fell off. Is this good? Yeah. All right. This is my first time using this. My mom got this for me for Christmas. Isn't she the best? Yeah, I guess so. Um, I'm like a professional racer now. Not really. It lasted like 10 feet. 
Ten feet? Yeah. Uh, just keep it off. Keep it off. I don't know where you're off with it. I'm going to throw my truck. That's a nice can. Oh, it's nice, but the top of it was hanging out in the truck, so now there's <laughs> ice all over the top, so then water's going to go into my gas tank. Oh, it's a wonderful design. It just could it would be better. What a pig. I'm here with Kyle S. We're in his D-Max. He's running good. He's running strong, right? Hey, so we got the Skidoo loaded up, we got Kyle's Apex loaded up, we're on our way to, uh... Well, the trails, I guess. Are we going to the gas station or are we going to the gas station? The gas station, okay. So we're gonna go to this one gas station and, you know, just unload there and then get onto the trails because where we are right now, are the trails open or...? Well, technically they're probably open right here, but it's easier to go right there and unload. I didn't get the drain plug out, so my new one is still right here. So hopefully the old one doesn't come out. I, I just couldn't get it out. Couldn't do it with the equipment I had. So hopefully we have no issues. This will be my first time ever on this sled. First time ever, it's got a brand new belt. She's got oil in it, she's got fresh gas. Hopefully she does the job. She's, now we got a Yamaha. If now we got a Yamaha. We got the tow truck with us. I, I hope so. Maybe even, you know, the Skidoo's gotta be the tow truck. We'll find out, I mean, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. That shot's fired there. Shot's fired. <laughs> I'd like to love you night and day if I may, may, may. Yeah, I'm a little squirrely. Just a bugging around right now. <laughs> That's good. That way we won't spin out and get, you down get all squirrely. Yeah. <laughs> like Do you screw them down too when you unload them? Yeah, probably should. Did you make this? Jeremy made it. Did he? This, this, this is a puppy trailer. What is it, like gutters and pieces <laughs> of steel? Yeah, I believe so. Looks like it works good. I've never actually unloaded with it, so we're gonna see how this goes. Oh, we're gonna test it out. How exciting. So now you just unscrew her and turn her back in? Yeah. First you strip them real good. <laughs> strip them out real good, that really helps them. That way you never get to use them again. <laughs> you make sure your bit gets stuck too every time. <laughs> That's why you strip them out so the bit doesn't get caught. Oh yeah. There's a technique to it. First time you guys, first freaking time. Wow, this feels different. I haven't done this in a while. It feels really, really good. Woo, baby, this feels freaking good. Some nice sleds though, holy smokes. First day and we already found cops. Holy freaking cats. These sleds are sharp though. They're really sharp. And we're just parking right next to them. Outlaws. Uh, we need to get something to eat though, I think. I'm hungry, are you Kyle? I can definitely eat. Okay. Well, if you ask these guys, they don't want to race. We're gonna ask the cops <laughs> if they want to race? I would, I'll run them. <laughs> well, I got an 800, you have a thousand. And those are probably what, 600s? Yeah, they're cheap 600s. We can beat them. We just got some food. The, the uh, officers to the sleds were sitting behind us. We gave them a hard time a little bit on their sleds. We're like, hey, uh, you guys beat on those things? And of course they're gonna tell you no, because you know, we're taxpayers and. No, they seem like two nice guys. I didn't want to bust out the camera because I didn't want like any of their attention. You know, the camera, cameras and 
it just doesn't work with police. Now we got our bills. Kyle's buying because he's got a Yamaha. He's got so much power, just pays the bills. Pure ponies. Pork. Okay, it's time to get gas. The cops didn't give us any trouble, which is really, really good. What? You pile over this thing or what? You want me to? <laughs> Mine's a diesel! Getting fuel, getting fuel, getting fuel. Look at his setup, he's got a GPS, that's really cool. She was only at about half a tank, so we'll see what she takes. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to ride, man. These fumes are getting to me. I'm slurring my words. We had to pull over for a second so I could plug my wire into Kyle's sled because my my heated thing I don't think works on that. So what, it just sits on that pad and it automatically charges it? Yeah, that's the concept. How does it do that? There's gotta be a shit ton of radiation coming off that. So it looks like both me and Kyle are having electrical issues because my heater cord doesn't work and his phone charger doesn't work anymore. What has this world come to? Oh, oh. <laughs> Are you good? Do you really want me to edit that out? <laughs> the Skidoo did pretty well, the Apex did pretty well, no breakdowns. Um, I do want to adjust my belts. Is there any work you want to do on yours? Some gas in her. That's about all Yamaha needs. <laughs> oh, so you're saying the Skidoo, since she's a Skidoo, she needs a little bit more maintenance, huh? Is that what it is sometimes? Whoa, whoa, oh, okay. shots fired! Another nice thing about the trailer is you don't need a ratchet strap. You oh, yeah. park them in there, and if they start sliding around, well, guess what? They ain't coming out. <laughs> they might move a little bit, but other than that, they're a okay. I be a pain, but I kind of like it better. Yeah, I do too. It's awesome. We made it back. Kyle's even going to be nice enough to take my sled down to my house, drop it off. A little maintenance. She's got to sit outside for the night. Boo hoo. You guys know why though. Because the dirty old Kodiak is in the garage. Something that currently isn't worth nothing because it needs to be fixed is taking up the space that something nice and that does run and that does go on trails for miles and miles and miles on end without disappointment sits outside. That's not a very fair, is it, Skidoo? Oh, you all the time. I like to come out. 